All right. That was Potsu with Letting Go. We are back with Brandon Beatty moving into Fargo FAQ. So, Brandon, we've got uh, people all around the country. They they love Fargo. They love this show. And they write in. They've got questions. So uh, I'm hoping that you can maybe help answer some of these frequently asked questions. What do you think of that, Brandon? I can try. All right. So first up, we've got Jim Roberts from Modesto, California. He asks, what are the opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts near Fargo, such as hiking, camping, or exploring nature reserves? Now, I know you can help with this one because yeah. you actually just came in from a hike this morning. Yeah. And boy, am I, are my arms tired. No. <laughs> All right. Sunny Modesto, California. One of the places that you want to hit up when you're here is um, Forest River Park in Fargo. I was just there today. The trails are beautiful. There's lots of like flowers and cool grasses and there's a river. And, it's, it's and how far away from Fargo is that? Uh, it's actually, I think it's located in Fargo, but it's like oh. seven miles south of like downtown. So oh. it's it's a little bit of a trek, but it's it's worth it. It's Can you get there via, is, are there like bike trails leading to and from? I don't know about that one, but I, I would love to bike down there. I, I li- love biking. It yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a big biker. I, our previous guest knew a lot more biking than, uh, than, than I, I ever will. But uh, I do like, because our bike trails go, they connect everywhere. But I'm trying to, uh, tell me more about this place where you were hiking today, seven miles south of downtown. So it was in the city. Yeah. And, you know, if there's so a will, there's a way. Like, if you want to bike seven miles to get there, like, I, I suppose you could probably do that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we actually did a... Uh, like a, a nature walk and indigenous talk there um, a few weeks ago, and we had uh, Audubon, North Dakota, or Plains, Audubon Plains. I sorry, um, <laughs> the Audubon Society came in and did like a, a talk about the nature and a talk about the birds, and then we had uh, someone from uh, MHA kind of do some of the language stuff and talking about the plants. Um, so it's a it's a very rich rich like ecologically rich place to be, and it's like far enough away from like the the busy city. Um, but accessible enough to get there pretty quickly. You said, uh, how, how did you put that? Uh, walk and talk. Well, how did you How did you put that? Was that Is that like the official name? Because it sounds really cool. Yeah, it's what it we, we called it. We called the um, in, uh, in, in indigenous walk. No, nature the, walk, indigenous talk. Yes, that's there. It. You go. Yeah. yeah, that's really got a ring to it. Yeah. I, I like it. Nature walk, indigenous talk. Is that so? You guys do those segments regularly? Uh, we we would like to. So we, we we did one, and we're talking about we're talking to Audubon about um, doing another one, maybe next year, or maybe even doing one in the fall. I think there's there's a lot to explore there, and I think like even if we did them like every you know two times a year, three times a year, um, I think we could probably get enough interest for people to to come and and check it out because everyone needs a good excuse to get outside and. See when people nature. like things that rhyme. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's... if it rhymes or if it's alliterative, yes. like the Fargo Five with its Fargo famous, Fargo fun, Fargo frequently asked uh-huh. question. You see the alliteration I'm doing there? Um, so, but tell me, I'm, <laughs> I really want to nail down. Um, I've had this question a lot, and it, I've never really been able to understand it. What exactly is hiking? <laughs> so, I mean, I don't, so when people say they go for a hike, so I, don't, I just, I don't get, so they go for a walk. I understand what walking is. What is the definition? Like, what, where's the line between just going for a walk? If I go around a walk around the block, is that did I go for a hike around the block? I would say yes. You and would it say rhymes, yes. It, it rhymes with bike, so it's it's like a rhyme, <laughs> like bike, hike. hike, and hike. Yeah, take, yeah. Take the bike, go on a hike. But I so because you're describing this place where you took this hike today, yeah. and so I was imagining more like hilly. But there's no hills within <laughs> within like a 50 mile radius of Fargo. <laughs> I, right? I don't know of any. Like if you if you have any ideas, people in Radio Land, like about hills to hike on in Fargo, let me know. Um, I'd love to check it out. That, but so, where did you go on this walk, and why did you choose to use the word hike instead of walk? I, I just, it, it just seems I don't know. It's like one of those things that like just it it permeates your your brain. Like when you're going out to nature, when I'm like taking like like really intentionally going to a place to walk in nature, then I'll call it a hike, I guess. But if I'm just like walking down the street, I usually don't call it a hike unless it was a really long way. Then I'm like, Oh boy, that was a hike. But it was, is there concrete? Were you walking on concrete? Uh, I think there were trails, dirt, but yeah, concrete like trails. Concrete tra- so there was concrete. And, and you dirt. still, but you, so I mean, I mean, look, you use the word, however feels natural to you. You said it was a hike. I heard it was a hike. I believe it was a hike. The, 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 emailer is asking about hikes and so if concrete can you do a hike on concrete that i i don't yeah that i'm not well we report you decide i guess to steal the term (laughs) okay moving on to our next question uh barbara johnson from las vegas nevada nevada 
<laughs> I guess it says NV. I, huh. I was like, no. Nevada asks, do people in Fargo actually ride moose to work in the winter? How does one trace a, train a moose for commuting? Well, you know, I've seen maybe zero moose, meese, mouse. Uh, my, mises? Have mises? you never seen mises? a moose? I don't know if um, I've ever seen a moose. I saw one at Shields once. Yeah. Oh, I saw, I've seen that one, but that you could probably, you'd probably get kicked out if you tried to ride that one. What's the strangest thing you've ever ridden? I rode a camel just a few months ago. Really? Yeah. Where was this? Uh, what I was, was the over context? At, it was over in Brainerd, Minnesota, and they had uh, Brainerd. Yeah, the zoo that I was like really like like oh a zoo in Brainerd like it, it must, you know it's gonna be cute or whatever, but yeah. it was actually like super cool. Like and there was they a let lot you ride just, the they let you ride the camel. Yeah, for five dollars. Wow. Know? Yeah. Wow. For ten dollars, I don't I've know. I've been to, I went to the uh, far, well I guess in the Fargo Zoo they let you touch the llamas. So um, yeah, for the right price or the right place. Very cool. Well, here we are moving on to our next segment. Uh, we're going to have some music first. We've got uh, from Post Traumatic Funk Syndrome, we've got their cover of the song Vehicle. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> 